Do you think the royal family are badly off? No, I don't. And when Prince Philip comes along and says he'll have to engage in the supreme hardship of doing without his polo and going into a suburban semi-detached, it really is more than I can bear. I believe that the royalty is the greatest of British national assets and earns huge sums of money, if you want it in economic terms, vastly more money than a hundred Willie Hamiltons put together could ever earn in a million years. Now, with me in the studio, I have Sir Gerald Lamaro, MP, who today uh, tabled a motion calling for the Select Committee to inquire into royal finances, and Mr. William Hamilton, MP. Now, Mr. Hamilton, I know that you've been incensed by Prince Philip's public, public claim to poverty. Do you think that 475,000 is quite enough for a monarch to manage on? Well, there are so many conflicting statements and untrue, inaccurate statements in your original uh, uh, pronouncement. Uh, that I could spend all this program on, on going through them. First of all, the Crown lands are not in any sense Crown property. They are national property. The second point is that the figure is not 471,000, that the, the Queen gets 220,000 a year from the Duchy of Lancaster, which was 160,000 in 1964. So there's been 60,000 pounds a year increase in that alone, which is tax-free. Well, would uh, you would you agree with these uh, figures, Sir Gerald? Well, I profoundly disagree with Willie Hamilton on all these matters. Of course, Willie Hamilton is a notorious Republican, an anti-royalist. I am a monarchist. I am a royalist. I am opposed to Willie Hamilton on all these scores. And my reply to him is simply this, that by democratic methods in 1952, Parliament decided that Her Majesty should have a sum of £475,000. Since then, the cost of living index has indicated a huge increase in all costs. If the £475,000 is adjusted to today's levels, it would become a sum of approximately £800,000 per annum, and I say that Her Majesty should have, for the purposes of running the royal household, and bearing in mind that Her Majesty and royalty generally is the greatest of British national assets, a sum of £800,000 per annum from the 1st of January, but the 1970. Point, the, you see, the point is that this has never happened since a civil list was a civil list. It's always been for the duration of the reign, however long. And in fact, when the opposition, then the Labour Party, in 1952, suggested that there should be a 10-yearly review of the civil list, it was opposed by your party, by the Tory government, on the grounds that this would involve a 10-yearly debate on the royal finances, and but they Mr. didn't Hamilton, want that. Can I bring you back to this point? Do you think the royal family are badly off? No, I don't, I, and I don't think most people in the country would accept this. The private, uh, the private income of the Queen, the private wealth of the Queen, is variously estimated at between 30 million pounds and 60 million pounds. And when Prince Philip comes along and says he'll have to engage in the supreme hardship of doing without his polo and going into a suburban semi-detached, it really is more than I can bear. But can you ever expect anybody uh, to pay for working expenses out of their own money? But they don't, you see. This is, this is the, you quoted some figures, if I might say so, in your original statement, which are on defense on departmental on departmental estimates the royal yacht is on departmental estimates the royal flight is on departmental estimates there's a whole lot of these things that are carried by the taxpayer in addition to the in addition to the civil list that you I quoted. do not propose I do not propose to bog down the listeners with a lot but of it's in, in, in very details. important to get the facts right you wrote last Sunday Willie Hamilton that a flag day should be held to uh, help a royalties. You made a constructive finance. suggestion. You uphold that view. You have just said that you made a constructive suggestion. I call it downright insulting well, to see, British if you, royalty. Gerald, if, if, you, if you and no, other people, me. if you and other people support the monarchy, all right, make your contribution. But please don't ask me to make mine. Well, you contract Nor my constituents. Either. I wish to answer your last allegation. You, by all means, contract out. But the Labour Party did not vote against the civil estimates in 1952. Some of us did. Some of us one did. or two Republicans yeah, like yourself. Can, I, I, can I bring you to an end and ask you just one question, Sir Gerald? 
Do you think we're getting good value for our money? I believe that the royalty is the greatest of British national assets and earns huge sums of money, if you want it in economic terms, vastly more money than a hundred Willie Hamiltons put together could ever earn in a million years. Mr cheer, Hamilton, cheer, cheer. just one word, yes or no, I, good value. I, I, I think that ought to be a cost-benefit analysis of the royal family expenditure on income. Thank you both very much. Thank you.